So for loops. For loops are a way of iterating for a set sequence of items. This can be the letters in a string, a range of numbers, and even more that we covered later in like the advanced section of these tutorials. So the basic syntax for a for loop essentially is for a in b. In this um, in this example, for is a reserved word meaning for loop, and a is a new variable. That new variable that new variable is being made and can only be then be assigned inside the for loop and only exist for that for loop. So you can't then reference the same variable somewhere else in the program. But you can reuse the name, for example, in other for loops. And that that variable is then incremented with each loop. And then we have a reserved word in, followed by b, which is usually either a number or a string which affects the value of x, so which affects the value of a. So for example, if we have um, my string equals Toby is cool, and then have four x in my string, print x, x is the new variable, a, in the example, and it's gonna, and it's getting its value based on the variable my string, and because that's a string, Python knows that x should be each character from that string, so print x is just gonna print each character from that string on separate lines, and it's gonna iterate through each letter. And uh, yeah, so if we change the value of my string to a longer sentence, then the loop will go on for longer because it will be printing each character from because it will be printing each character from that initial string because it be because it will be printing each character from that string. Range. The range function is something you'll end up using so frequently in for loops using Python. The range function is something you're going to be using so much for for loops while using Python. It's placed in the B section of the for loop and it allows you to specify a range of numbers to go through. For example, the code for x in range 6 will iterate through every number 0 to 5 because it stops the number before the one you input and it starts at 0. You can also, um, you can also specify a specific starting number by putting... You can also specify a specific starting number by separating that and the ending number with a, co with a colon. So for example, um, so for example, for x in range 2, 6. You can, also you can also specify a specific starting point by separating that from the end point with a comma. So if you have 4x in range 2, 6, print x, you're going to get every value from 2 to the number before 6. So the output is 2, 3, 4, 5. And, uh, Python has something included in it called break statements. Uh, these allow you to exit the loop when a specific criteria is met by combining it with an int statement. So if we have for x in range 2 to 6, we have if x equals 4, break, else print x will essentially stop the loop once x equals 4, as you can see. You can also add a third argument to the in range function, which uh, basically just says what increments you want the for loop to go up in. 
So for example, if we have 4x in range 1, 30, and 5, then it's going to loop through the numbers 1 to 30, starting at 1. So it's going to loop through, the num through all numbers, starting from 1, ending at 29, and going up in increments of 5. So if we put print x, we should be getting 1, 6, yada, yada, yada. And obviously you can nest so many other loops and if statements within that. Just play around with it, see what you can do. But yeah, uh, see you in the next video. We're going to cover while loops. Cheers.